What's up you guys, my name is Monsel, I'm with Neutropedia and today we're gonna talk about Memantine. Now Memantine is ostensibly a pharmaceutical drug, an FDA approved pharmaceutical drug for treating things like Alzheimer's disease. However, there's a number of people in the nootropics and cognitive enhancement community that are using Memantine off-label in order to improve their markers of cognitive performance. And I'm gonna go into some of the details about the benefits, why people find that it might be a useful tool and some of the side effects and things to watch out for if you are considering using Memantine. So Memantine's been around for quite a long time. In fact, it was developed in 1968 as a way of treating Alzheimer's and other age-related decline. Now the problem is most of the evidence, if not all of the evidence, is in older or elderly patients that usually have some kind of disease. Now I won't go too much into the details about that, but it does skew some of the data. So I'm going to talk about some of these benefits that come with Memantine, but the problem, as I said, is that if you're a healthy adult, it may not apply, or at least the studies may not directly apply to you because all of the studies have been done on older people who might be sick. So a 2003 study in the New England Journal of Medicine, which is probably one of the most reputable journals in the world, found that Memantine could ameliorate many of the side effects and the symptoms associated with Alzheimer's disease and senile dementia. Now what's really important about that study was that it was specifically in moderate to severe cases of Alzheimer's. These are people who are really far on the spectrum forgetting names, forgetting you know where they are, who they are, etc. And Memantine could reverse that trend. So there's some powerful effects at play here. Of course that might not translate into improved or radically improved cognitive performance or memory. So there's some evidence that Memantine could improve symptoms of ADHD or ADD, attention deficit disorder basically. And there's a 2003 study in children with ADHD and they found that there was benefits of using Memantine, but most of the accounts seem to be anecdotal. And although I do believe that anecdotal evidence is important, I want to point out that again it's different than the scientific studies. In this case, Memantine seems to be one of the most effective tools for ADHD and there's a number of different accounts that you can read but it, it seems to be highly popular it seems to have a really strong effect and of course that comes with side effects that I'll explain later but needless to say for many people who simply don't want to use Adderall anymore Memantine could be a solution but of course you need to learn more about it now the interesting thing about Memantine is think about the two benefits that I've just spoken about. One is memory formation, learning ability. The other is ADHD, which is focus, concentration. So it really focuses on some of these really big cognitive factors that people are looking to improve upon. The interesting thing is it also helps with some of the other problems that people have, such as OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, anxiety, symptoms of depression even. And so Memantine has this kind of, of course it's not well studied, but it has kind of an amalgamation of benefits that seems to help almost all aspects of cognition. Of course, you don't get something for nothing and there are plenty of side effects associated with taking Memantine. Many people online on the Reddit longevity communities describe how they feel dizziness, headaches, and nausea, and a lot of problems associated with taking Memantine. The final side effect that I consider to be really alarming, and in fact, it's one of the main reasons why I decided not to suggest my girlfriend use it is the fact that for some reason I won't describe the scientific details the use of memantine at least for the first week or so can actually increase the level of brain fog that someone experiences and many people who have positive results even suggest that you almost have to get over a hump for a certain period of time before it actually starts to kick in as far as the benefits are concerned so that's a little bit troubling to me I don't really want to take any kind of nootropic that is going to to come with side effects first and then benefits later. It doesn't seem like a mechanism that is going to work for me, but that's just a specific issue that I have with it as a more conservative nootropic user. My personal beliefs on Memantine aside, there's a huge percentage of the community uh, in Reddit and in Longevity who actually find that Memantine is a powerful nootropic and in fact many swear by it. They have gone off of you know Adderall and other 
their ADHD medications by using Mementine. They feel like it's the wonder drug for them. And then there's other people who are a little bit more like me, but who have tried it, who think that it's terrible, has completely drastic side effects. And so it's kind of a love or hate relationship. There doesn't seem to be too many people that are on the fence about it. So take that with a grain of salt, but do your own research about the anecdotes associated with healthy people using Mementine. So as far as the dosage is concerned, if you're going to use Mementine, the dose range is 2.5 to 5 milligrams per day. Even though this 2.5 to 5 milligrams per day range might be effective, the anecdotal evidence suggests that usually taking 5 milligrams every other day could be more effective for beginners. So if you're a beginner, you're just getting started with Mementine, maybe instead of taking it every single day, you take it every other day, but take the 5 milligram per day dose range. So guys, I've tried to give you as objective as a view as I possibly could. I hope it's been useful. Mementine is incredibly powerful. The scientific literature doesn't lie for someone who is older, for someone who has Alzheimer's. Uh, you know, giving Mementine is something that's probably not going to be a problem just because there's no other solutions that we readily have available. However, it is powerful and with any kind of powerful nootropic is going to come side effects. So take that to consideration before you make any kind of decisions and you might even want to speak to a doctor about whether or not you want to try Mementine. And you know, doctors, they're usually amenable to hearing what you have to say, hearing the research and maybe going off and doing some research on their own. So don't be afraid to bring it up with your doctor. It's, uh, it's not illegal to use if you buy it from Serotropic, for example, you can you know purchase the product, have a sublingual or a nasal spray solution. I forget which one it is. I think it's a sublingual. But in any case, I hope it's been useful. I hope you have some idea about Mementine, what it can do, what it can't do, what the side effects could be. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time.